But first, today is November 1st, the start of Native American Heritage Month. And in Evanston, one man is keeping a Native American tradition alive. Chicago Tonight's Evan Garcia recently visited Northwestern University to learn about Birch Bark Canoe Building. The spirits that live in this place, they never forgot the Anishinaabe. They never forgot who we are. So they are happy today that this birch bark is going to go in that lake. Wayne Valier is a birch bark canoe builder. He's the master of what some might call a lost art. This is a uh, um, Wigwasa Jiman, which is a birch bark canoe. And this style of birch bark canoe comes from the Anishinaabe. I'm a Ojibwe Anishinaabe from Lac de Flamme, Wisconsin. And um, some people call us Chippewas, but we're Ojibwe. This canoe is made out of all natural materials from northern Wisconsin. As Northwestern's artist-in-residence, Valier built this 16-foot canoe with students in about two weeks. Different wood was harvested throughout the year, from the spruce root stitching, to the cedar ribs, to the birch bark sides covered in pine pitch. I got my fingerprint in there. Valier says he is one of only six remaining birch bark canoe builders among the Anishinaabe people. They're made by hand. We have the benefit of a few um, two by four jigs and some uh, cordless drills, but other than that, all the work is still there. And be a canoe builder, it's, it's a great privilege because you get to go in so many different environments on our grandmother. Our grandmother is the earth. We call her Nekomasakimanon. We get, she's much older than a mother earth. On a stormy morning at Northwestern, Valier and others set the birch bark canoe on Lake Michigan, something Valier says hasn't been done from a Chicago area shore in nearly 400 years. By preserving the art of birch bark canoe building, Valier says he hopes to pass on the importance of protecting the earth. It's so important that we maintain healthy forests and clean water, because without either, nobody's gonna live on this planet. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Evan Garcia. The Ojibwe are part of the Anishinaabe, a collective of indigenous people living in the Great Lakes region. And when he's not building birch bark canoes, Wayne Valier is an Ojibwe language and culture teacher at Lac de Flambeau School in northern Wisconsin. Northwestern's Indigenous Artists in Residence program is part of the university's Center for Native American and Indigenous Research. And you can visit our website to learn more.